Hey comic fans, this is John, host of Video Games in the World. Today's Comic Monday review is Mask, Volume 1, Mobilize. If you're someone born in the 80s like me and remember all these awesome cartoons from the 80s, then I'm very sure you remember Mask, the cool transforming cars, the awesome suits, and kick-ass action. Now, I read this graphic novel by Brandon Easton and I thought it was pretty good. This graphic novel is a reboot of the 1980s cartoon series in, when there, in which there are changes in the characters. And it's a retelling of the origins of Mask and its enemy known as Venom. Of course, the cartoon was as popular as G.I. Joe and the Transformers. Now let us begin. Mask, Mobile Armored Strike T Command, is a team of heroes that streaks into the dangerous unstable landscape of dark wars, high intrigue, and non-stop action where they'll encounter the nearly unstoppable threat of Miles Mayhem and his Black Ops squadron known as Venom. How will an untested Matt Tracker lead Mask through a complex new world order where nothing is what it seems? I liked how at first in the beginning the heroes were being mentored by Miles Mayhem who is later revealed to be the antagonist I like how Easton stuck to the likeness of Mayhem and reminds me a lot of the original 1980s character. Miles Mayhem in the beginning of the story seemed like a mentor, but then the plot thickens when we learn his true intentions. When I said about the characters ha having changes, I meant they did have changes. This will piss off a lot of people, but I'd rather find some middle ground in subjects. The main protagonist, Matt Tracker, in the cartoon was a white guy. But in this graphic novel, he is African American. Still, I liked his development in this one. He has his flaws, and that's a good way to create a character. He's a guy who is willing to save others whenever necessary, much like the original Tracker from the cartoon series of the 80s. The character development was pretty solid for many of the characters, and we see that the team is diverse. But that does not mean that the 80s cartoon wasn't diverse, because it was. Although the graphic novel has great story on retelling the origins of Mask and Venom, I must say that they could have stuck to their original looks. Oh well. I also love the fact that this IDW comic takes place in the same universe as two of my favorite shows from the 80s. The drawings and sketches were very well done, I must say. Tony Vargas did an amazing job with his drawings. I must say that Brendan Easton did a fantastic job in telling the story. And finally, to wrap this up, I enjoyed the graphic novel, great story, good drawings, and excellent character development and representation. They could have done a bit better by sticking to the originals in a way, but still, it was pretty good. My final score for Mask Volume 1 is an A-. Make sure to comment, share, and subscribe. This is John, host of Video Games and the World. Have a good one. Bye-bye.